you're one or two Tesla models from being out of business. Yeah. Does that make sense? Oh, yes. I mean, especially for non-hazardous cargo, just so, right. you know, someone's making toys to some wherever. Yeah, that, yeah. that's fine. It, get it all done. It'll, it'll be on the slide. It'll let you pass. All kinds of things. Yeah. Right. My thing is, and that's what I learned, this is a quick story about myself, is that I got put out of business by the iPhone. I, I owned a couple of video stores. I, I couldn't foresee, I couldn't prophesize the end of hard copies. The uh -huh. end of going to a video store and that family ritual, picking out DVDs yeah. and, and for family night of movies. That I, was a special time. Right. Yeah. I couldn't see we stream on our phone right. an entire right. movie on yeah. our device. I couldn't see that because at, in 2005, it was, you know, YouTube was the beginning. The, the black and white palm pipe was right, the thing we right. had. Right, And yeah. then you got YouTube, uh, you got YouTube, and you watch it on your, your computer, and it buffers for five minutes, yeah. and you play a minute, it buffers yeah. for another five yeah. minutes. I'm like, no way we're going to watch entire movies. I but, thought Netflix was dumb whenever they stopped, right, you know, right. smelling. What, what do you mean they're going to stream it? There's no way. Right. So I couldn't Wrong see it. So... And it, I went and took a million dollar a year business and went to a hundred thousand right before I sold it. Mm. Cut the profit in, in two thousand seven and two thousand eight. Cut the profits by ninety percent once the iPhone came out and once streaming services came out. Killed our business. Yeah. So what I'm saying, family, is that don't let this happen to you. If you just starting on your business or you're in a job right now that's in one of those industries that's going to be cut real soon. It's coming. Yeah. Don't think that it can't happen to you. It, Sears <laughs> used to be able to send you a house for right. you to rebuild in like the late 1800s, early 1900s. Right. Sears put a catalog on every doorstep in America, right. and that was a mail order thing. And right. you would just go to a uh, one of their fulfillment centers and pick it up, which. How did they, they had a hundred years of, it, of business. They had a national footprint. Mm -hmm. How did Amazon crush them? Yeah, they're, they're gone now. Right. They were literally they're bankrupt. J.C. Penny, Sears, uh, yeah. Kmart's about to go out of business. Payless is going out of business. The big box retailer is... Big box is gone. Why? Yeah. Why? The technology is here, family. Embrace it or die. Right or you know, and you know. Oh, yeah. yeah. So my thing is, I'm trying to be at the cutting edge. I think I'm one of the best. This by proven results, one of the best sales trainers on the planet. My book is out right now. You can get that. That's the quick reference. Second edition will be out later on this year. But my webinar, Six Figure Sales Success, will be out real soon. So if you like the book, I'm gonna dig and, and get more granular. Mm -hmm. And get real deep and anecdotal on these on the seven step process on the okay. webinar. Okay. So that's that's coming out pretty soon. So family, I, I'm not trying to be the, the uh, uh, what is it the uh, the little the heartbreaker of doom, right? The, <laughs> you know the the little boy that cried uh, wolf or whatever. Uh, uh, chicken little, chicken sky little. Is yeah, the sky is falling, but the sky is falling. <laughs> it's it, it just what it is. Yeah. So embrace the digital age. Um, and everybody, just step back for a second. Stop giving everybody else's space. Be more creative. Mm. I, I, I notice a lot of people want to hop into what everybody else is doing. Everybody can't be an influencer. Everybody can't be a YouTuber. No, we're talking about that. Fear and laziness. They're right. not going there. Right. So everybody can't be an author. Find what's your space. Adopt it, get creative and adopt it with the, the, the new digital age yeah. and create something. Just like with, with, with 50 Cent. Oh, he's not the creator of it, but he, he was the first to endorse it. By the morning, not quite Gatorade, not quite water. But he threw everything he had on that. Right. Yeah. So find something that's in the middle, recreate it, and get your own lane. There you go. And learn how to pitch it. I can help you with it. Yeah. What is, what is your take on, like, uh, you know, real quickly before we get out of here, mm -hmm. on sales and marketing, like how, what's the importance of it? What's, how can a novice get into it besides my book? How, you know, how can they embrace and switch the introvert, the guy that was a clerk, the guy that don't yeah. like to talk to people? How can he survive now? All right, so start with this book. I was um, helping look over it and it uh, was being made and it is, it's got juice for the veterans 
and it is a great roadmap. So if you've never done sales, if you've never had to ask for money for somebody else, mm -hmm. um, I say, get this book, find some charity that you are passionate about, and then go about mm -hmm. asking for money. Go, go on the streets, go on social media, walk into the Wortham Foundation, wherever, mm -hmm. but if you're gonna be passionate about it, mm -hmm. and it's something that you're interested in, and you have these working tools, you will slowly get to build up the the confidence and mm -hmm. the and then lo and behold one day you'll be that influencer you'll be the person that when they ask for money mm -hmm. when you ask to give time that it will occur as an opportunity in that person's life to to help you out right. and I think that that to me is the real reason why sales and marketing is just so successful that uh, to, to being a to, so integral at being a successful human I think that right. you um, you're no longer you're an activator and you can be an introvert and do it because mm -hmm. as soon as you're done in that passionate area you'll revert back to what it is you're comfortable with but you will have been on the other side of it and mm -hmm. you'll wind up finding that equilibrium that right, uh, right. yeah well this is the thing I didn't start up as a, a, a talker I used to have a huge I know you can hear it a little bit a huge stuttering problem mm -hmm. You know, when I was a kid, I was, you know, a jock. I was a, I was a wallflower. Right. So just by working in it, and if you read the book, I kind of tell my story. But just by working in sales and being, you know, forced to, hey, I had to feed my daughter. So I had to do something in, uh, in order to uh, facilitate the lifestyle that I wanted. Mm -hmm. I was drawn into sales. And just by doing a repetition, I became good at it and I, and I, and I changed. So that's why I really don't just to kind of sidestep. I really yeah. don't believe in the uh, the um, uh, well, I don't want to go there because you know that's for the <laughs> astrological charts that your right. faith is written. You know, because I I made a huge change. I could I, any, anything I put my mind to, I could turn on a dime and become that with enough practice and enough mm -hmm. w w willpower to, to make it into fruition. That's what I believe. That's what, I've done this before. Yeah. You know, so my thing is that. I eventually started liking sales, and I, you know, to, to writing a book about it, becoming an expert on it. Right. So you can you can change your life. So my thing is, I, I was in a computer setting. I'm a computer nerd. I'm mm -hmm. a research guy. I'm, I am a true introvert by nature. But as a computer guy, I, I, I put it to something I can relate to: numbers. It's all a step. If then. Right. And if you look if you look at the book, that's how the book is written. Everything is a counterpunch. If they do that, then I say this. Mm -hmm. If they say this, then I say this. If they say this or do this, then I do this. It's gotta get them talking first. Right. <laughs> gotta get them talking first. So that's all this is about. It's a dance. It is. So and and, and, and you can kind of predict human uh, behaviors based on which how you box them in. Right. Same thing as writing code. So I kind of related to something that I was already that's doing. Good. So. You don't have to be the super, and I say this in the, the prologue, you don't have to be the, the captain of the football team, the gift the gab guy, the guy to get all the ladies in order to embrace sales. Follow this roadmap, and then it'll change your life. From there, I, you know, I became highly successful in what I, what I did just by converting over and, and, and able to articulate what I want now. And now I can create. But you have to, you have, to have the roadmap first. Does that make sense? Mm, absolutely. So it can happen for you. So don't just think because you're, I used to stutter. You can kind of hear it a little bit. I'm working, I'm still working on my speech. I'm still working on public speaking. After five, six years doing classroom, it, it just practice. Nobody, and this is the thing. This is the thing I tell in my marketing class, family. No, nobody's perfect. Perfection does not sell. No, not. People, relatability sells 10 times better than a polished Professional. You you, you can you, you, you can be a stutterer, right? As long as you're genu genuine, right? You come across, but right. somebody Papa Underhill stutters, right? Well, hey, somebody that comes <laughs> in silver tongued, everything. It's right. no, 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 no. Like right. not relatable. They're trying to force something down your throat, right? But somebody like you say, who's relatable, <laughs> right? Yeah. That, and that's what I tell a lot of my people that's in my my, my marketing class. Like they want to be everything perfect. Mm. You want to have everything perfect before you post. That's also <laughs> what holds people back. People think right. that they need to, everything will be perfect 
and then I'll go do something. Right. Yeah. Mark, Mark yeah. Cuban said, perfection yeah. is the enemy of profit. Yeah. Perfection is also the enemy of done. Right, right. Exactly. <laughs> you by you the didn't time do you, it because like, you were trying to get it perfect. Right. <laughs> by the time you try to perfect it, somebody else has already took your idea and took it to the next level. Yeah. So this my thing is this, do something, adjust it. Like right now, the, 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 the Power of Ownership Podcast is not where I want it to be. I got to fix the audio. I fix the video. I'm getting all, it's all in the work. The intro's in, in the works. The outro's in the works. All this is in the works, but I just put it out there. I wanted to lose about 100 pounds before I got on camera. That's why I did the audio first. I just did it. There you go. But wait, look at Simpsons and South Park. Go back and look at the first two seasons of right. that. That right. animation, right. It's the, terrible. the timing, it's just terrible. Right. But what they do now, here, 20, 25 years later, they're, you know, they're staples. And right. it's a fantastic product. It gets right. better and better. Right. Um, but Use that they, money that you're starting to generate and they, dump it back into your product and, uh, you know, get better as you go. That's right. simply what, what just it get is. Started. Stop being scared. Stop being lazy. Just do it. Um, if you need advice, advice is out there. This You can teach yourself anything from YouTube yeah. nowadays. Sure. There's no more excuses. It's the information age. It's the age of Aquarius. <laughs> you watch out. The, the new Buddha coming, the, the Maitra, <laughs> going to learn how to do it right. on, on YouTube. <laughs> right. You, you probably learned from this show, hopefully. <laughs> You know how to be how to be that Buddha, how to be that Christ, yeah. that Krista. But anyway, I'm not going to keep you too long, family. Again, I know it's Sunday. Um, enjoy your time with your family. Again, this is the Power of Ownership podcast. Um, I'm gonna let Andy go ahead and tell them, tell them where they can reach you, give them your information and stuff like that. Um, well, it's called MF Games, and the name of the game is I Could Do You One Worse. So you'll be seeing the Blitz come out. It'll be all over social media. So, right. And I, I tested the prototype. It's, 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 it's it, extremely it, funny. Yeah. It is. Like two yeah. hours of laughter. Yes. Yeah, you're gonna. It's gonna be fun. It's a great. It's a great bar game. Great. You know, get together game. It's a great game. It's the the social game for antisocials. Right. Right. Exactly. <laughs> um, again, my name is Brandon B. Dixon. Uh, I'm a writer, author. Sales: The nucleus of any profession is out right now on Amazon. Um, if you need a mortgage, uh, a lot of people. Is um, Mar mortgage March Mortgage Madness right now? So I'm swamped. I pre-approved two people earlier today. A lot of people getting investment properties now. The time if you want to close before the summer, let's get started right now. If you need work on your credit, let's get started right now. Hoc www.hocmortgage.com. If you want to apply for a mortgage, uh, if you need uh, renovations for your house, if you want us to fix up that that investment property. HOC Renovations, that's all up in right now. You know, subscribe to our newsletter, thepowerofownership.org. The new newsletter will be hitting the streets tomorrow, so that is out. Uh, also, uh, be on the lookout for my web webinars. That's coming soon in the second edition of my book and the second book as well. I'm not going to release the title yet, but that's coming out real soon. Um, other than that, remember my, what I always say, people. God is a verb. Personal responsibility is your only savior. Mm. Peace.